Welcome back design students. In this video we're going to create the cockpit and we're also going to add some more detail by adding an edge around the around the center, the horizontal center of our ship so we can round some parts of it off. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But before I do I wanted to show you that I added some more detail to my wings here. I just simply used inset and extrude a few times to make these sort of panels here. And I also wanted to show you that I have a problem here with my uh, little gun things. Uh, apparently when I was trying to shape this part underneath here I accidentally selected these vertices and moved them when I didn't mean to so I need to fix that and that's going to happen from time to time. You just need to uh, be aware of what you're selecting and sometimes it's difficult. But I'm going to straighten this out. It's especially easy to select vertices you don't mean to when you do that. See, I don't know that I selected what I meant to. I'm going to move it and see if anything else moves. It looks like it. I was okay with that. Let me grab this one. So it looks like I've got that straightened out, but I didn't do the other side. Well, you know that all we need to do is uh, maybe go to the top view. Oh, and I also wanted to show you that I didn't do this to the other wing as well because I know that I can just go to the top view and select half of it check in the perspective view to make sure I have all of it selected delete it and exit sub-object mode and reapply the symmetry modifier and everything I did on the one side will be copied over just have to again select the right axis and click flip so before I put this edge on here, I want to go ahead and collapse it one more time. I feel like if I don't do that, it won't go all the way around. So I'm going to, after I've done that, I'm going to switch to edge mode. I'm going to get swift loop. And I'm going to put an edge right in the middle, just like that. And it should go all the way around my ship. Then I'm going to go back to polygon mode. I'm going to switch to the top view by pushing T on my keyboard. And I'm going to, oops, i got to turn off Swift Loop. And I'm going to select half of my ship. Check it in the perspective view. Delete it. And then exit sub-object and reapply symmetry. Now the way we can use this um, edge here is is very interesting. We can use it if we go down to uh, vertex mode and turn on show end result. We can use it to round off our ship. We can just pull various vertices out to get sort of a rounder profile here like so. You don't have to do it on all of it, but you can see that we can certainly get a rounder weapon here by doing that. You just have to make sure you continue it. And make sure you're only selecting the ones that you mean to. So I don't want to make you watch me continue to do that, but you get the idea. Now let's create the cockpit. To do that, we're going to, guess what, have to collapse this one more time. And we can um, grab this central edge here. I'm going to do that to round off the top of this a little bit because that's kind of the look that I want. Now to create the cockpit, it's a very simple thing. You just select the polygons where you want the cockpit to be. And you usually start by insetting them. 
And now you see why we had to collapse the symmetry modifier. And then you can start to pull them up, maybe inset them again. You could even pull them, extrude them down, inset them again. them up, extrude them up, and now we're starting to get something that looks kind of like a cockpit. Now I'm going to take this and shrink it down like so, and move it down so it's not too tall, and then I think I'm going to move it, I'll move it back a little bit so it looks like a windshield right here. And you can play with the shape and get whatever kind of shape you want. And we'll talk about this um, faceting that you see happening here and all over the ship, actually here and here. We'll talk about that in the next video. But once you get the shape looking like you want, you're going to have to do some beveling and some extruding. All right, so let's start with the windshield. The windshield, oops, sorry, goodness. Let's start with the windshield. I'm going to switch to polygon mode and select two front polygons. And actually, I think I'm going to do the same thing to the back. No, I'm going to leave that alone. Excuse me, so this needs to be one piece. So that's why we're selecting it together. So let's start with uh, an inset. Not very much. And then let's go to bevel. And I'm going to bring up the options here because I want to make sure and do this by local normal. And we're going to start by going in and we're going to work on this amount this amount here. This is how much it bevels inward. And you can see very quickly that we have something that looks like a little windshield. And let's do the same to the side ones. Start with that inset. Try to make it consistent. And then we'll, we'll uh, bevel. Sorry. And then we'll bevel using the options. And that should just repeat what we did on the windshield, which is the nice thing about using the options. Now on the top one, I could make that one, and I think I probably will, but I could also do it by polygon to get a different look. You know, I could switch to um, by polygon like that to get a different look. And I think I'll stick with that. I kind of like that. And then I think uh, I'm going to do this by polygon as well. Okay, we're starting to get something that looks like a ship. Um, I think I would probably like to go ahead and extrude these. I really don't need to use symmetry here. These are going to be the engines. I think before I do, though, I'll probably grab these and uh, use the scale tool to round that off a little bit. Do the same back here. and um, <clears throat> inset these first. Oops, not by polygon. And I think I'll pull them out a little bit. Inset them again. And then extrude them Okay, so I'm starting to look like a little spaceship now. So in the next video, we're going to address this faceting that you see here, right here. You see these sort of, uh, each polygon seems to be kind of breaking down into triangles. And uh, we'll talk about that in the next video, and we'll address that using what are called smoothing groups. And I'll see you then.